What's up guys? Welcome back to the Strong Sisters YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to share a little bit of a failed project, but that's okay. We learn through our failures. So we built a small little mobile chicken home because the idea was to get the chickens out to Angel Acres so that they could poo all over Angel Acres and help fertilize the fields. And so we'd have this mobile home where we would be able to move them every single day. Right now they're in this coop, the stationary coop, and then we just let them out and let them fully free range and roam, such as what they're doing right now behind me. And that's great. Really happy birds, free ranging everywhere, but the more freedom that you give the birds, the less control that you have. And so they're kind of just pooping everywhere and in places that we don't need them to poo. So the idea was to kind of get them out on the field so we could control where their poop is falling. We ultimately decided to expand our flock. We fell in love with these egg layers and we want to be able to sell eggs next year. So we kind of changed our path a little bit. We thought we were gonna be just keeping a small chicken flock for like the next couple of months, six months or so, but we're gonna be expanding our chicken flock at the beginning, early spring of 2021. So we're ultimately gonna go with a larger structure. But in this video, we're gonna show you guys the little structure that we made ultimately just trying to source everything from the farm here, keep it as low cost as possible. It was certainly fun to do and it likely still works just fine, but it's not the most secure from predators and that's the, the scariest thing because we want to make sure that the chickens stay safe at night. All right, so as you guys can see, the chickens are just kind of everywhere. They're just free ranging all throughout the day doing whatever they please. And we didn't share with you guys, we got some new kids on the block. We didn't name these ones. These are just the new kids on the block. They should be laying soon and they were supposed to all be females, but that is just not what happened. We think that that one is a rooster and a few others, but those are the new kids. We've got 18. So we will share with you guys in a few weeks the structure that we are deciding to go with. It's much bigger and it will allow room for a larger flock and it will also keep them safe. So stay tuned for that video in the few weeks to come. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys what we created. <laughs> All right, so this is inside that big red barn. So this will be a wedding and special events barn. But for now, we are coming to the scrap pile of wood. So these are gonna be the wood pieces that we build a lot of the structures for the wedding barn, but then also for the mobile chicken coops. One right there. You got it, Sarah? Yes. That's it. <laughs> Wide load. Yep, we're going down there.
do it. So version two will be a lot more efficient. The honorable young Hummer is scouting out this potential crib. I know. Okay, so here is the mobile home that we made the final version. Look at these wheels. Can we talk about this? Look at those wheels. <laughs> so as you can see, we had a first round of wheels that did not work so well. These wheels do work. However, since we decided to go with a different structure, the final step would have been to put little triangle pieces up here so that it lays flat. But since we're not using it, we decided not to do that. But look at this door. Look at this door. Hangs down. Say Say made the door. It hangs down and they can walk on in and there. And we've got some nest boxes in there. And then we've got chicken wire all on the bottom so that the predator wouldn't be able to directly hit them and their poo would fall onto Angel Acres. And we got some rods for them to perch on. And then look at these sticks for them to perch on up here. Hey, the motto is? What? Proud but never satisfied. Proud but never <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> flock to be really small because that, that's really sturdy like that's heavy I think it's beautiful it's heavy and so if we would have just been able to put the triangles down it just it doesn't suit our current needs right now you know so this will go down in the books as what should we call it the oopsies the coopsie the coopsie coopsie 1.0 coopsie 1.0 small version all right Dora you ready to explore Inside the coopsie? Nope. Nope, let's go here. Come on. Come on, Dora. Come on. She wants to go to bed. She's like, I'm going to go back home. Let's put her in there. There she goes. There you go. All right, we're also going to put one of the Peggy's. You guys haven't met Peggy. There's Peggy and then also Peggy. They look the exact same, so it's the Peggy's. So we're gonna put Peggy in there with Dora as well. You wanna go test it out?
Like I said in the beginning, plans for us have changed since we started the construction of this little mobile home. So I think getting a large flock of chickens out on the field sooner will help us get that soil biology going a little bit faster. So our main priority in 2021 at the start of it is going to be expanding this chicken flock and this little mobile home just won't cut it for a larger flock. So stay tuned for the structure that we will be using here soon. Until next time guys, make sure you are behaving like an angel. angel.